Oh, it's a little warm today across the valley. Temperatures back up close to 100 in some areas. We've hit 100 in basically the western half of the valley. Eastern half has stayed in the upper 90s, but starting to drop back a little bit. Still 100 in McAllen, 104 in Rio Grande City, and 90 in Brownsville, where it was a little hotter earlier today. These temperatures probably about what we'll see tomorrow this time. Maybe a couple degrees hotter in some areas, but the breeze will still be around and it still looks to be dry and sunny. Now the feels like temperature, the heat index is all above 100 everywhere in the valley. That's taking into account the, uh, the effects of the humidity, which you know, it's muggy, but it's not really, really muggy everywhere. I mean, it could be more humid, but it's, it's kind of still fairly muggy out there, especially in the lower valley, but temperatures feel like they're above 100. So as always, we're getting into what climatologically is the hottest part of the summer, kind of late July into early and mid-August. So you want to slow down, stay cool, stay hydrated on these hot days when the heat index is pretty much going to be in the 105 to 110, maybe close to 115 briefly at times the next several days with air temperatures of around 100 degrees. So stay, stay cool so you don't get any heat related health problems. Now, winds are at least a little breezy. You see the sustained winds around 15 to 20 miles per hour, and they may be in, in about this range tomorrow with some gusts up around 25 to 30 miles per hour at times. So it will be a little breeze around. And we look at future track, the wind speeds this evening, they'll kind of die off. You see the colors here, the light blues and eventually no color indicates winds go down to less than 10 miles per hour later tonight. Tomorrow though, the breeze is starting to pick up some earlier in the afternoon. You see the kind of yellowish greeny shadings come back later in the afternoon. So we do get a little breeze blowing kind of like today in spots, but still it's just blowing in more hot and humid weather coming back. So your day planner for Saturday and this looks about the same for Sunday too. starts off around 81 at 8 a.m. 90s already, mid 90s by noon and mostly in the upper 90s and lower 100s in many areas by 5 p.m. But you know, it's such a wide range by then it goes from the upper 80s at the coast to maybe like 105 in Star County by around 5 p.m. tomorrow. But a hot, sunny, breezy day, kind of like we have now. And pretty much all of Texas is stuck in the heat. You see it's 100 in Austin, even 100 in, up in Oklahoma and parts of Kansas today. So if you imagine this area on the map, it's kind of the middle of the heat that that's locked in and pretty much going to sit there for a while. Future track shows this upper level high, which is almost what's the center of the heat as well, sitting across Oklahoma and Texas, and it kind of just meanders around, but doesn't really go too far over the weekend. So it keeps us hot, mainly dry tomorrow as well. Very, very limited chances of like a very tiny sea breeze shower somewhere. But as we go into Sunday, still stays hot and dry. Monday stays hot and dry. Some of the longer range models say by Tuesday or Wednesday, maybe a little bit of moisture here in the Gulf tries to get in here for a small chance for a sea breeze shower by Tuesday or Wednesday, but until then rain chances are pretty much near 0% for Saturday, Sunday and Monday. So the first 1570 forecast close to 100 most days. If anything, we may cool off a little bit by Tuesday and Wednesday because of a few more clouds and a small, small rain chance of about a whole 10%. After that, though, some of the longer range models hint that we could get maybe a little bit hotter overall across Texas and maybe the valley late next week again. So some of the hottest weather for next week could be on the way late in the week. We'll track it for you in your first 4 and 5 forecast throughout the weekend. Stay tuned.